denied. Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. In this video, we're gonna talk about a few very commonly confused words. Refuse, reject, decline, and deny. What is the difference between them and when should you use them? Let's take a look. Okay, first, let's take a look at the verb refuse. To refuse can mean to not accept something, to not receive something, or to not consider something. So we use this a lot when we're describing saying no to something that someone asked us for. For example, he refused to meet me this afternoon. We refuse to be treated with disrespect. She's so spoiled, her parents never refuse to pay for anything. So basically the theme with these first three example sentences is that they're all saying no to something, or in the last case, they are not saying no to something. In the first example sentence, someone is being asked for their time, they say no. In the second example sentence, someone is treated with disrespect, they don't accept that, refuse. In the third example sentence, we have a negative, her parents never refuse to pay for anything. That means her parents never say no to paying for her. So that's kind of the feeling of to refuse. Someone asks you for something, someone shows you something, someone treats you a certain way and you say no to that. Okay, let's move on to our next verb. Next is reject. To reject means to not accept something or to not consider something, usually by throwing that thing away or immediately removing that thing from the situation. We use this to talk about romantic situations where one person says no to the other. For example, an article I submitted to a magazine was rejected. My friend is gonna ask out this girl he likes, but I'm worried she's gonna reject him. Our proposal was rejected by the clients. So the feeling that accompanies the word reject is often disappointment. It's like saying I prepared something or I tried to do something, but it was thrown out by the other side. We see that with the magazine article in the first example sentence, in the second example sentence, asking out a girl that someone likes, there's a concern that the girl is going to reject the guy. So that means that he's going to feel disappointed. In the third example sentence, a proposal being rejected by a client is another type of disappointment, right? So we use reject usually when we're talking about about not getting the thing, we're refused for something, and we're thrown away. So there's a strong feeling of disappointment here. Okay, let's move on to our next verb. The next verb is decline. To decline means to say no to something or to refuse to accept something politely. We use this one in polite or formal situations, like when we're offered something, like food or drink at a party, like a job opportunity, and so on. Here are some examples. We invited her to hang out with us after work, but she declined. Shrimp? Thank you, but I must decline, I'm allergic. I decline the invitation to the conference. So in each of these example sentences, you can see that decline is used to mean no or no thank you. You can use this in polite situations, formal situations, business situations, when you need to very nicely say no to something. Okay, let's move on to our last verb. To deny something. To deny means to say that something is not true or to not accept a request. For example, the thief denied he was near the jewelry store the evening of the robbery. My manager denied my request for time off next week. You're having a good time at this party, don't deny it. So these sentences with deny have this feeling of saying that something is not true or refusing to accept something. In the first example sentence, the thief denied he was near the jewelry store. It's like saying the thief said no, he was not near the jewelry store or that was not true. The second example sentence takes the accept meaning of the verb. My manager denied my request for time off next week. Another way to say that is my manager refused to accept my request for time off next week. In the third example sentence, we again have that not true feeling. You're having a good time at this party, don't deny it. That means don't say it isn't true. Okay, so now that we've talked about all four verbs, I do wanna point out that there are absolutely situations in which you can use more than one of these verbs. For example, in the last group of example sentences, we saw my manager denied my request for time off next week. We could replace deny with a different verb. For example, my manager refused my request for time off next week is okay and my manager rejected my request for time off next week is also okay. It depends on the nuance that you want to communicate. With rejected my request for time off, it sounds like the manager said no and threw the request away. With the other one, my manager refused my request for time off next week, it simply sounds like the manager said no. So there are some overlapping meanings with these verbs and it's up to you to choose which kind of feeling that you want to communicate. Awesome, now you know the differences between these four verbs and you can use them with a little more 
more confidence. Of course, if this video was helpful for you, you can help me by hitting the like button and sharing this video with all of your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the English Writing Tips channel for more writing, punctuation, spelling tips, and more. Thanks very much for watching this video, and I will see you again next time. Bye! Don't refuse to watch this video. Oh, I got nothing. <laughs>